guys, I just want to say, uh, right before I say this video, uh, please like and subscribe, it means a lot, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Peace. What is up, YouTube? Um, so today we are going to be showing you guys, um, um, the upgrade in my 2010 Ferrari 599XX, um, so we do not have the Evolution, uh, it's a $10 million car, and I'm not wasting money on that, but I already can have the, um, 599XX, um, so, yeah, let's get started, um, you want your conversion, um, you want to go to drivetrain swap, uh, you want your all-wheel drive, drivetrain, um, and then you want to go to your uh, aspiration and you want to go to your twin turbo you want that on and then um you're going to want um your front lip on and your forza um back wing on uh rear wing and you want on that forza horizon race wheel ring um on and then you want to go back and you want to go into your wheels. Uh, you want to keep your stock tires. You do not want these ones. It makes it worse. Um, and then you want full big tires on both front and rear. Um, once you've done that, pick whatever you will you want. You pick this one, this one, or this one. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, then you have the size. You do not want those, um, neither back or front. You want those stock and then you want these wide out the whole entire time um and then you want to go back and you want to go into your drivetrain you want to go into your race clutch you want that on um your transmission you want your race transmission on um then you want your drive line you want that on and you want your race differential yeah. on um and then uh, again don't mind the background but uh then you want um stock springs you don't want anything else and you'll see why when i tune it up um then you're gonna want your raceway reduction um you want that on and then last but not least we have our engine and you're gonna want rice cams and valves on you want your valves on um to race valves, um, your displacement, um, you want the race engine block, um, then you want your pistons and compression, um, you want your race, um, you want to do that race, so stock, um, or not stock, sorry, max, um, you want to go to your race twin turbo, with that full max, um, and then you want to go to your intercooler, and you want to go in the race intercooler, um and then you want to go to oil slash um cooling you want the rice oil slash cooling and then um you want to do the flywheel and you want your race flywheel uh, again don't mind the background my, my um, family's being a little crazy but okay so now we're gonna go into our tunes and oh i just skipped it there i'm blind okay so, um, you want to go and your tire pressure, you want both max 55.0, 55.0. As you guys can see, it says 270.2. I can make it go faster than that. Um, your final drive, uh, 4.02. I'm going to try something real quick and see what happens. Um... Uh, okay, it won't make it much faster, but if I do this, it would probably, uh, no, not much. All right, mate, we're going to go back to the original 4.01, and then, um, now that we have that, your first gear is going to be 1.61, your second is going to be 1.08, your third is going to be 0.83, your fourth is going to be 0 0.68. Um, then you're going to want your um, thing to be 0 0.57. And your uh, sixth gear, you want that. Same thing as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, now that you have that, you want to go to your alignment. You want your camber at negative 0 
well not negative sorry you want it at zero degrees and same thing with your rear you want it at zero degrees your tail you want it at zero degrees and your rear you want it at zero and your angle you want it at one degree um and then you want to go to your anti roll bars you want those both max 65.00 um then your springs you want that um uh, 1,584.3 and then your rear 1,000 exact your ride height you want that 30 and your rear you want that 2.2 your damping you want 10.0 and your rear 6.8 um, bump stiffness soft or stiff um, you want that 10.0 and the other 6.5 um, now for aero, you want your front to be your front and rear both to be the lowest possible, so 214 and 324. Your brake, you want it to be 50% and on balance, and your braking force pressure, you want that 100%. Um, differential, you want that 100. Your deceleration, you want that zero. Your acceleration in your rear. You want that 100 and your deceleration 0. You want your center to be 78%. And now that you've done that, your car will go really fast now. So let's go test it out on a highway. And yeah. Okay, we're going to fast travel to the highway real quick. And do this. Man, that was a lot of talking. Okay, so we're gonna travel right here. 2,800 credits. Collect your fast travel boards. They mean a lot and they really bring down your stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we are here. And um, now we're gonna go. And here we go. And we're moving, we're moving. And we're already at almost 200. We just hit 200, and now um, we just crashed. Bad driving skills, in it? Here we are. We just hit 200. Third gear. Run down. Oh my god, I suck at driving. All right, we're going now. We're gonna try to reach 270. I can barely see these AI cars in the way, I have to do it every day. So in the evolution, even those exact things would be a little different, but it would drag your car so there's sparks in the ground. I have to watch other videos for that, I don't have the evolution, but one day I will. And uh, yeah, okay.